Hello, and Hi. welcome to Kindred Women. Yes. This is Ashley Key. Hi. And we are going to be talking about how she was able to conquer some of her life struggles with anxiety. Yep. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay. Well, yes, as Amanda said, my name's Ashley, and I am uh, 25. I am single. <laughs> <laughs> and I work at um, CBN, the Christian Broadcasting Network. Um, I work as a social media marketing producer there. Totally blessed by that ministry and just working with amazing people, yes. amazing ladies. Um, I'm from uh, Suffolk, Virginia, mm -hmm. so I've pretty much been in the Hampton Roads area all of my life. Um, I currently live in, in Norfolk, and yeah, I'm just um, just a single lady thriving <laughs> yes. in this season that God has me That's in, um, and yeah. Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, we are just going to get right into her story, and mm -hmm. so why don't you just go ahead and tell a little bit about your some of your just quick background. Okay, um, in terms of... The journey of overcoming mm -hmm. anxiety. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so yeah, I was saved when I was, I want to say like middle school, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember like what age I was, but I remember um, me and my family were attending this church and I wasn't even going to like youth or anything. Mm -hmm. I was just going straight up to the regular church services. It was, it was the same, it was a big church in my church. family, yeah. which it was the same church you guys went yes. to. Yeah. yeah. So, um, anyways, we didn't even know each other. I know we didn't. Yeah. So totally a God thing. Yeah. But, um, anyways, yeah. So I was just going with them and it was just one day I, at this time I understand what it was, mm -hmm. but I didn't then it was just a total Holy spirit yeah. conviction. Um, and the Holy spirit just came into my heart and I just, I just was like crying nonstop, just sobbing, sobbing, sobbing. Um, and I remember my mom even took me to the bathroom and I was still just mm -hmm. crying and crying and crying. And you know, eventually I calmed down and my mom was just like, are you okay? Like, did you yeah. feel like Jesus? And I was like, yeah. And you know, from then on, I just remember driving home that day, like looking out the window, like just feeling refreshed. Yeah. So, and I, I, I credit that moment to that's really when the Lord like entered my heart mm -hmm. and um, that's really when I just started to have a relationship with him and um, you know even before that my parents you know they would take us to church and stuff um, and then from then on we still attended and then we eventually would go to another church and stuff but eventually I kind of just I never stopped believing in the Lord mm -hmm. but I just walked away right. from pursuing a relationship mm -hmm. with him because I don't think I was, um, I just didn't know what his ways were. You know, I knew him, I believed in him, but I just didn't know what the right thing was. I don't know. It's, it's kind of, yeah. it's kind of hard to explain, but, um, so anyways, you know, went through high school, like always considering myself a Christian, um, you know, doing things that maybe I wouldn't encourage kids to do now. Okay. And then I went to college and, you know, the same thing. I definitely was like um, partying and, and just part of that whole culture. But um, the Lord slowly but surely started to call me back mm -hmm. to him, um, specifically because of the prayers of my mother, my dad, my sister, and I'm sure my grandma, some family members that I don't even know right, um, were just yeah. praying for me. And I know you and your sister, Sarah, were definitely instrumental um, in terms of just like, I would see you guys at church right, and, yeah. you know, her sister came up to me and was like, I just feel like I need to pray for you to like get connected yeah. with like Christians at school. And little did she know that every time I would come back home from like break or for a weekend from from college, every time I would go to church, it would be like Holy Spirit conviction. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. and then from then on, you know, I would go back to school and I would start going to church mm -hmm. by myself. I might have gone out the night before, but I would still right. get up still and go to church. church by myself. Um, and so, just little by little, you know, I would go to just people would come into my life. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I studied abroad in Austria and like um, the instructor, they were Christians. They were just like solid Christian husband and mm -hmm. wife and just like you know God really placed people in my life yeah. um, throughout that journey to call me back and really um, it got serious when it was like my uh, junior year leading into senior year I ended up getting a job at CBN which is a ministry which yeah, if you would have yeah. told me three to four years ago I would be working right. full-time for a ministry I probably would have laughed yeah, or been her. like, um, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, totally God's plan. I mean, I'm so thankful and pleased yes. and, and just grateful for what he's done in my life because yeah, he's that's truly, me. yes. Yeah. He's truly really called me back to, to him and his ways. Um, but 
when that happened, when I really started to dedicate my mm -hmm. life to the Lord and really make significant changes in my life, I started to face anxiety. Yeah. And, um, you know, backstory for that too, you know, anxiety was something that I struggled with when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And I, I know now that, you know, some of the things that happened in my childhood, um, you know, I had a loss of a cousin at 11 years old. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of a traumatic event for me. Mm -hmm. And it just, stem, it just created fear right. within my life. Um, and many times when I was younger, if I was feeling anxious, it would just be from irrational fears, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm going to be abducted or something right. like that. Yes. And I was like, yeah. you know, 10 yeah. or 11, like why, why am mm -hmm. I concerned mm -hmm. by this? Um, so it was, and it would come and go in my life. But when I started walking with the Lord, for some reason, it came like it had never come before. Mm -hmm. Like it was completely debilitating. Like I, you know, for some weeks, I wouldn't be able to sleep fully at mm -hmm. night. Um, you know, I would, I would try and take like cold medicine to like mm -hmm. help me sleep, sleep you yeah. know. Um, so what did that look like? What, what was the anxiety? Was it more fear-based? Was it... yeah. It was definitely fear-based. Um, I think it initially started from like irrational fears mm -hmm. because I wasn't, and that's something I think we can get into either today or another time, mm -hmm. but um, I wasn't necessarily protecting myself from things that would right. continue mm -hmm. those irrational fears. Mm -hmm. Like something as simple as a TV show yes. or a movie. Like I was seriously yep. watching, like I will say it right now, I was watching American Horror Story mm. and yeah. it literally freaked me mm -hmm. out to the point where I, I felt crazy. Yeah. I legitimately, I was like, what is wrong mm -hmm. with me? This has mm -hmm. never happened to me. So I know now, you know, going through this journey, I have to really protect my, right. what I watch, yes, what absolutely. I listen to, yeah. you know, I don't care if it's a commercial mm -hmm. for a scary movie. I'm like, yeah, sure, turn it off. It. I am not, turn turn mm -mm, I don't want that. So really like, that's what it looked like for yeah. me was like irrational fears mm -hmm. and not being able to like calm myself down. Yeah. It would literally just be a, a spiral. A spiral. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I would get into that spiral, I mean, it, it would make me nauseous. Like mm -hmm. physically, right. it would it would affect me. Yeah. So I know it's, I mean, I remember being younger mm -hmm. and having some of those irrational fears. Yeah. I think we all probably mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. But it's then, then what happens after yeah. that? You know, yeah. do you stop the thought? Mm -hmm. Does it mm -hmm. just go away and then you move on? Mm -hmm. And in this case, it isn't. And so that's where you're recognizing, okay, this yeah. isn't just a little scary feeling, no. you know, this yeah. is greater than that. And it's yeah. something that needs to be dealt mm -hmm. with. So mm -hmm. I think 100%. that's great that you, you knew it had, it needed to be taken yes. care of. Yes, definitely. So the other thing, okay. The one verse that I did want to bring up with that, mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the fear based is Second Timothy 1 7 and mm -hmm. I'm sure that you're familiar mm -hmm. with it for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and a sound mind yeah and I love that verse it mm -hmm. it just it's so strengthening mm -hmm. and it really just helps you to just say no I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be afraid I'm mm -hmm. not gonna be fearful yeah because I do have power and love and yeah. a sound mind right yeah. inside of me yeah um I know many times um, you know if someone is experiencing anxiety and when I started to experiencing it to experience it like beyond anything I had ever dealt mm -hmm. with yeah. I didn't know how to deal with right. it I genuinely did not so and you know I was kind of like just coming into like a new relationship a new walk with the mm -hmm. Lord being mm -hmm. serious so you know many people just oh like pray about it right. you know do this do that well, that didn't work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, genuinely, yeah. like when I was feeling like I was, I did not have control over my mind. Mm -hmm. I was scared of myself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, what the heck is going on? You know? So, um, eventually there was a turning point, mm -hmm. um, where I, you know, my, you know, my family knew I couldn't hide it. Yeah, I was like, right. mom, I feel cray cray. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So, um, Definitely surround yourself with people and and scripture, but um, definitely in the Christian community, it, it mental mental health it, it's it's like a sticky subject because mm -hmm. it's like yes, it repeat those scriptures, right. feed yourself with the Word of God, be in worship, but also sometimes it might need to go a little More. bit deeper, mm -hmm. you know, depending on the severity of it. And for me, I had to turn to a therapist mm -hmm. and eventually medication yeah. um, to help me get over the hill. 
Um, and, you know, I still question, I'm like, you know, why God, why, why did I have to do that? You know, why did I have to go on Medicaid? Right, That's just right. crazy to me. Mm -hmm. I never mm -hmm. expected I would even be there. Well, and I think so many people make it out to be a bad thing. Yes. And I'm not one who likes to take medication. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. don't even take medication for a headache. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a whole different thing. But mm -hmm. we, God has given us those doctors and yeah. those people yeah. to urge you. Mm -hmm. And and that's not to say that that's something that you should be on forever. Mm -hmm. No. You know? Yeah. And I, I liked one thing when we were talking, one yeah. thing that you had said was that, I think I put it in here in my notes. Um, no, I didn't. Something about... Um, it was when you were using the medication, it was something mm -hmm. that you said that I think you, you never thought that you would be at that mm -hmm. spot mm -hmm. and that you need to use the medication to get you to mm -hmm. where you need to be. Yeah. But not to hide behind mm -hmm. your feelings. That's what it yeah. was. Mm -hmm. So that you're able to really push through and not hide behind those yeah you know because yeah, medication yeah. isn't supposed to numb you yeah it's supposed to help you lead mm -hmm. your your normal life exactly and I think you know especially talking about that it's like everyone's journey is different too mm -hmm. so my journey um to overcoming and dealing with anxiety um was medication mm -hmm. um is medication is therapy right um, which I cannot uh, suggest more because sometimes it's you just need someone who's objective, yes. not a family member, not right. a close friend, someone who is educated mm -hmm. in the mind um, and who is a Christian um, who also, you know, can pray for you right. and yeah. deal with those things yeah. too. Um, but everyone's journey is different. So yes. that's what God was calling me to. That doesn't mean that God's going to call you right. to that. Right. Maybe God calls you through aromatherapy mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. different, you know? So... I would say, you know, if you're struggling with anxiety, pray and see what God is leading mm -hmm. you to, you know, yeah, um, what are, what are the, the wise counsel in your life? What are they saying? What are they suggesting? Most importantly, Lily, like, what is the Lord kind of given you? Like, right. what is he like continuing mm -hmm. to remind you of, or, you know, so just pay attention to those things too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So I know that you've said that it's progressively gotten better mm -hmm. and there was one point in your life, though, at there's a church that we go to a women's conference. It's called mm -hmm. the Devoted Conference with mm -hmm. Wave Church. Yeah. And I know that was a moment where yeah. it probably was one of the worst times. Is that yes. what you would yes. say? Yes, 100%. Um, it had reached a peak that I had never experienced before. Like, I was not able to eat. Mm. Um, I wasn't able to hold down food. I was getting sick because of just, I was physically, mm -hmm. like, nervous. Yeah. Um, and so just, uh, God works in mysterious ways. Um, so that weekend when it had really reached a point and, and at that point I had gone to the doctor and, and my doctor was like, okay, well, here's some medicine, you know, mm -hmm. do you want to take it? And I was just like, no, I'm not going to take right, it. Right. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to do that. You know, then you, of course I start Googling and it's like all of these horrible side effects and right, right. you know, there's risk of suicide. And then I was, I just continually mm -hmm. freaked myself out yeah. and to this point where I just like didn't do anything. And that's exactly where the enemy wants yeah, you to be yeah. in a place where you're not helping yourself. You're not listening to mm -hmm. wise counsel. You're literally just stuck and yeah. frozen in fear. And that's what I was. And Literally, by the grace of God, um, you know, my mom and my sister were like, you have got to get out of yeah. this. You've got to get out of this. Please take the... I mean, they were like, please take yeah, this yeah. medicine. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to. Right, I'm, right. I'm 22, 23 years old. Why am I going through this? Blah, 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 like self-pity, mm -hmm. whatever. Well, and you know, it, it was that weekend where it was our churches. We typically go to this women's conference at called Devoted Conference at Wave Church. And... Um, we didn't go that Thursday evening, but then it was like Friday and Saturday and, and I was just like, I'm whatever, I'm just going to go. Like I still was like, I had no food in my stomach. Mm -hmm. I like yeah, brought peanut yeah. butter crackers with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I still was ridden with fear, but somehow I was able to get myself together by the support of my mom and sister, yeah. um, and go and the Holy Spirit just shifted something in my spirit. I'm, I don't know what it was. Yeah, um, I, I remember at one point it was like after one of the, you know, it was like a worship mm -hmm. service and, and then, you know, everyone was like laying hands on people, like raise your hand if you're going mm -hmm. through something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, 
That's me. me. And so strangers were like mm-hmm. put, laying yeah, hands on yeah. me. And um, ever since that weekend, wow. yeah. I progressed, it was an uphill from there. Mm, um, again, I started medication mm-hmm. that weekend. Mm-hmm. I went to the devoted conference, mm-hmm. got, you know, was surrounded by the Holy Spirit, yes. angels, you know, fighting yeah. against demonic forces mm-hmm. that were literally trying to take me mm-hmm. out. Um, and yeah, from then on, it, it, it was a, a progression. And, and then, um, you know, I can explain recently, um, you know, God did call, I heard from the Lord. He was like, you know, it's time to, come off of the mm-hmm, medicine mm-hmm. Um, because it had been on my heart. I'm like, God, you know, I want kids eventually and I know I can't, you know, so, I, right, you know, just right. thinking ahead, just like, oh, I'm not sure God's mm-hmm. still like to this day. Um, and it was actually uh, almost a year ago, um, the Lord spoke to me and was like, hey, I think it's time for you to come off the medicine. So I was like, okay, let's do yeah, this. Yeah. You know, not knowing it was again, it was going to put mm-hmm. me through hell again. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I eventually started to wean myself off of this medicine. I started to go through anxiety again, not knowing that there, there are negative side effects. Mm -hmm. Um, but I say all that to say, um, you know, a lot of times we don't understand what's, Mm -hmm. why God does things. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand why did he call me to come off of this Mm -hmm. medicine and I'm still not fully off. Um, but I am to a certain extent closer to where I think he wants me to be, which Mm -hmm. is off. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just a less, 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 lesser dosage, but, um, not to get too personal, but you know, it's, I questioned that. I was Mm -hmm. like, okay, God, well, what's going on? Like, why am I experiencing anxiety when you told me to to come off this medicine, you know, but I thought it was just going to be like, you know, like a magic trick, but it's not Mm -hmm. like deliverance is not a magic trick. Deliverance is is discipline. Mm-hmm. It is work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and a lot of times within the Christian community, we expect God to just right. like it's do things happen. at a drop yeah. of a hat. A healing. Oh, mm-hmm. you're healed. Mm-hmm. Not saying that He can't do that right. because He yeah. certainly can. Yeah. But a lot of times He wants us to partner with yes. Him. Yes. And that's what I've come to terms with. I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, God, I'm partnering with you in therapy as something that will help yeah. me. I'm partnering with you in medication. Mm-hmm. I'm partnering with you in devotion mm-hmm. and disciplining myself yeah. to, to feed myself the word of God and prayer and community right. and worship. So, you know, it's still a journey that I'm walking through. Um, I've definitely walked through some tough times, dark mm-hmm. times. Um, but, you know, again, freedom is out there. Freedom yeah, yeah. is for all of us. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm believing for total freedom and I'm, declaring that yeah amen, yeah girl mm-hmm. amen mm-hmm. and one of the things that you have talked about too is the renewing of your mind yes. and yes. I love that verse that is Romans 12 2 mm-hmm. it says do not conform to the pattern of this world but mm-hmm. be transformed by the renewing of your mind yeah then you will be able to test and approve what God's mm-hmm. will is mm-hmm. his good pleasing and perfect will yes and it is so true mm. that the renewing of your mind, and I know that you've said it ha- it's a daily thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what now does your day to day look like? I mean, obviously you get up, you go to, you know, <laughs> you get dressed, you go yeah. to work, you yeah, work yeah. out, but like, what does that look like for devotions, books, and mm-hmm. you know, things like that? Yeah. So one of the the biggest things things that helped me, like when I was after the devoted conference and I was like con- like going mm-hmm. uphill from there, um, every morning I would wake up and I would put on specifically Joyce Meyer. Okay. Yep. Joyce Meyer, <laughs> that's my yes. home yes. chick, yes. let me tell you. <laughs> um, and my sister loves Joyce Meyer mm-hmm. too. Um, you know, my sister struggled with anxiety as well and um, Joyce Meyer's uh, ministry has just totally yeah, transformed awesome. my life and her life. Um, and, and some of the things that, um, definitely have helped me and her battlefield of the mind. Mm -hmm. This is actually her copy. I mean, as you can tell, it is used, used, honey. Um, and I use, I have the same one. I definitely used it, but I mean, just getting, listening to things. Mm -hmm. Like I literally would just listen to things 24 seven because my mind was just so overcome with darkness and fear. I needed something as soon as I got up, mm-hmm. as soon as I got up, when I was still feeling anxious or yeah, I would true. automatically wake up and have a pit in my stomach. Mm-hmm. You know, I needed to listen to something that was going to encourage me. Right. 
and 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 feed the word of God to me. So Joyce Meyer, you can't go wrong with her. Okay, no, no. Battlefield of the Mind, amazing, amazing. Yes. Um, this is also my sister's Battlefield of the Mind Bible. So it's the entire Bible where it literally just has different excerpts, yes, um, prayers to renew your mind, anything that deals, any scripture that can be um, kind of focused towards renewing your mind, mm -hmm. it includes in there. Um, and I know one thing that we had talked about with the fact that this is the battlefield of the mind, but it's also the Bible. Yeah. Because I think a lot of times we get away from reading the Bible mm -hmm. and we start trying to self-help with different books. Yeah. And I love books. But yeah. the Bible is yes. where it's at. Yeah. I mean, that's where you truly are going yes. to get the best 100%. piece. 100%. So. And the scripture that you mentioned, the uh, do not be conformed by this world. I mean, literally that, I that's like my scripture yes. for like, I don't know if that's my life verse mm -hmm. forever, but that's really how the Lord has called me back to him. Mm -hmm. Like I was very conformed by the world mm -hmm. and he, this has been a process to renew my mm -hmm. mind because we have to, mm -hmm. in order to to walk through what God has for us, we have to get rid of things. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the scriptures that I wrote down prior to this was, and that's helped me, is um, it's in Matthew where Jesus tells, he's like, any plant that has not been planted by my father will be will be pulled up by the roots, wow. right? Yeah. So I clung to that. I was like, Jesus, okay, if, I'm, if I have a spirit of fear, get it out. Yeah. Get it out, Lord, yeah. because you didn't put that mm -hmm. in me. It's mm -hmm. not a plant that you planted in me. Right. So if you're walking through anxiety, you know, um, the scripture says, be renewed by your mind. And then another one, um, Romans 8, 28, you know, God works all things together for good. But then Romans 8, 29 says, let me pull it up because I have it written down. Yes. It says, and he chose them to become like his son. So if you read that, that passage, it's basically saying God works all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Okay, so he chose each one of us mm -hmm. to be like Christ. Yeah. So he's going to put you through yes, things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people, like I know Stephen Furtick, he said, you know, like God sends storms. Mm -hmm. The devil doesn't. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like the devil uses things, but God will put you through things mm -hmm. to get rid of your enemies yeah, so that yeah. you can walk in to the promised land and not have to worry about your enemies. Yeah. Um, like I, I was just telling you, I was listening to Stephen Furtick, um, his New Year's Eve service, and he was talking about just kind of why we go through things. And you know, that's just something that I s still struggle with sometimes. I'm like, I just don't understand why I still struggle with this sometimes. It's really annoying. Right. <laughs> um, but you know, he says that God puts you through that to get rid of your enemies, mm -hmm. inner knees. Mm -hmm. So things That's within right. ourself that are not of God, that are not Christ-like, because ultimately he's calling each one of his children to be like him. Yeah. And if that means I have to walk through a, um, a season of darkness and dealing with anxiety and dealing with past traumas mm -hmm. and dealing with the root of things, then so be it, because yeah. that's going to put me... 10 steps forward mm -hmm. yeah, into yeah. claiming the promises of yeah, God. So, absolutely. Yeah. And one of the last things that she's going to talk about is just this book. It's yes. Caroline Lee, mm -hmm. and it's called Switch on Your Brain. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to talk. Just yeah. Briefly. So um, I, I wish I was more of a reader. I really do. But this book is awesome. Um, I didn't finish it in its entirety, but I know also my sister did. I think your yeah, sister, sister did. I know a lot of people have. Um, and I, I listened to we, a lot of... We, we both, both have it. it. <laughs> um, but the portions that I did read um, definitely even give, gave me strength mm -hmm. to... Um, it definitely just gave me encouragement that, no, I actually do have control over mm -hmm. my mind. Yes. You know, because a lot of times when you're feeling anxious, it's easy to let that overcome yeah. you. And it's like sh her words and, and her like scientific evidence yes. gave me the courage that I needed to say no to myself. Say, right, no, 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 right, no, no. Right. I'm not going to let mm -hmm. that thought, even though it may come from me or the enemy, mm -hmm. who knows. But no, I'm not going to let that overcome yeah. me. So this was definitely helpful. Also, her YouTube channel. Yes. She comes yeah. out with interviews with like Priscilla Shirer mm -hmm. and like amazing women um, who just continue to um, encourage you in a season of anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. This um, has been so good. Yes. And then I also did want to mention one of the things that helped me many times mm -hmm. was simply worship. Yeah. Um, 
specific songs like Defender by Rita Springer. Mm. That entire album, Def okay. it's the entire yeah. album is called Defender. It is amazing. Um, worship for me played a huge part. Yes. It really yeah, did. Yeah, and I can I can attest to that. You know, one of the things that we had talked about before earlier on just protecting your ears and the things that you hear, the things that you watch. Mm -hmm. And I just remember this one thing my mom saying, be careful little ears what you hear mm -hmm. and eyes what you see. And it is a true thing that we have to protect mm -hmm. our minds and our yeah. eyes from seeing yeah. things because that's where the enemy yes. starts coming in. Yeah, that's definitely. where those thoughts and mm -hmm. the anxiety stems from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you let one little thing in, it just starts to creep in yeah. and, and it just becomes bigger. Definitely. So, yeah. I really appreciate you coming on. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Yes. So if you are dealing with anxiety, we will be praying and we encourage you to just listen and do the things that Ashley said has helped her. Mm -hmm. And we just thank you for watching. Thank you guys so much. God bless you.